You are probably already used to using the Cartesian coordinate system, but the computer coordinate system is a little bit different. Let's go over the Cartesian coordinate system, talk about the computer coordinate system, and to understand why they're different, we'll need to go through just a little bit of computer history. Now the Cartesian coordinate system works something like this. You've got a grid right here, you've got an origin. Right here at the origin, we've got the coordinate 0, 0. If we want to, we have a coordinate of 3, 5 right here. 5, 5 would be about here. 10, 10 would be about here. So that would be 10, x of 10, y of 10. This would be an x of 0, a y of 10. And over here we'd have an x of negative 10 and a y of 10. Down here would be negative 10 negative 10. It might seem reasonable that you would actually use this for your coordinate system when doing computer graphics, but that's not how it works. The history behind why we do it differently is kind of interesting and it actually works out fairly well the way computer coordinate systems work if we do it this other way. Why is it different? Quite a long time ago, the only thing that you could show on computers was basic graphics. This is an example of a program called VisiCalc and with this particular program when things were written to the screen we did it by rows. You can even see here there's a row 1, a row 2, a row 3, row 4, and actually there are some rows up here. This would as far as the program itself is concerned, it would draw things at row 0, and then there would be a row 1 right here, row 2, row 3, row 4, but it would tell the user that this was row 1 because this up here was reserved for VisiCalc stuff. This is really your early spreadsheet. You're used to using spreadsheets, and note that we've got row here, and we also have columns. The spreadsheet itself uses A, B, which is kind of like a 1 and a 2, and the computer behind the scenes will consider this column right here to be 0 and then 1 and 2. And it will actually start counting at 0, just like what we're used to already. I wanted to draw the letter L or write the letter L to the screen. I would do it at row 0 and column like right about 6. This was the state of the art in the beginning for working with computers, but there's really no graphics, no pictures being drawn. But then some bright people who really are a lot more visually oriented than VisiCalc might allow decided to do something different and they made art out of only using characters. And if you take a look at this, by just simply using characters such as here, there is a T and here we've got a left bracket, we've got a Y, and putting them in certain places we can actually make art. Here we've got a kitten being held in a hand, simply being made out of dashes, underlines, squigglies, and so forth. It's being done by a row count, row 0, row 1, row 2, row 3, get a little bit closer here, row 4, row 5. You get the idea. We also have columns, one, two, three, and it just keeps going. I'm sure these don't line up exactly, but for instance, this might be column seven, column eight, column nine. Note how these coordinates that I'm using right now, they do not follow the Cartesian coordinate system because I'm talking about row zero, row one, row two. And this is not a negative 1, negative 2, negative 3 with an origin up here in the corner. I don't have the origin for my coordinate system down here. It is just a little bit different. Eventually, in order to support graphics, computers started supporting more types of items, not just simply a black and white set of letters. In this case, we've got an old screen from a bulletin board system from long ago a game called Space War 3 and they were able to create different graphics based upon having the ability to set the color and also to use solid blocks and in this case we've got more than just solid blocks but we've got small parts of blocks that are filled in and we've got different hashing here you can see as it's sort of filled in not necessarily a solid block but different hash items to show different levels of fill the graphics are more advanced 
but still we're using row zero, row one, row two, row three, row four, and so forth, so that when this is being drawn, we're again using that coordinate system that's not the Cartesian coordinate system. When it came to time that we actually supported full graphics, we kept the same coordinate system. The origin was done up here, five five is down here, 10, 10 would be over here. The negatives would be over here off to the side, off screen. And this basically would be the monitor or the window that you're drawing in. The x-axis works exactly the same. The y-axis is reversed. These aren't negative. These are actually positive. It is possible to draw off screen with a computer. For example, if you wanted to draw a spaceship, you could draw a spaceship starting right here at the approximate coordinate of negative 2 for x and 7 for y. So you would draw your spaceship and while it might start here, part of it might appear on screen it's okay to start drawing off screen and note that part of your image might actually end up appearing on screen. You can use negative coordinates to do that and not a problem with the computer. It would just not display the stuff that ends up being on the negative coordinate side of things. Keep in mind in working with computer coordinate systems they are different than the coordinate systems that are used to in the Cartesian graphics. The origin will not be in the center of the screen, it will be in the upper left screen. The y-axis will be reversed. The x-axis will remain the same. This works fairly well when you've got a window like what we have right here. If when working with computers, if you resize your window and make it large. If our origin was in the middle, the coordinates for everything would change. If our origin was down here or here, again, the coordinates would completely change as far as where you're drawing stuff. But with the origin up here, we can resize this window and the coordinates for the object that we're drawing won't change. That is a nice holdover from the old style of coordinate system that makes things really convenient when you're drawing.